Yahira Nami, blessings to you. My name is Joshua from Chosen Vessels, the Preacher's Channel. Today is 5 5 19. In our previous presentation, we learned about the word vanity. And in a quick review, how do you say desire in Spanish? It is de sale, de sale. And um, how do you say a desire in modern Hebrew? It is la chashok, la chashok, la chashok, la chashok. And the word for desire in in the Abbe, in the ancient Hebrew, is dro. All right, the root consonants are the da, za, r, the r, and the o. Dro. And uh, likewise, in vain in Spanish is in bano, in bano. And in vain in modern Hebrew is lashana. Lashana and um, Jojro is how to say vanity in the ancient Hebrew and which is the Abbey and the root consonants are the da, the z, the r, and the o. And details about this letter is in our ancient Hebrew revived complete chart in number five. And uh, details about this letter is in number 20 of the same booklet. And details about letter R is in number 19. And finally, details about the O is in number 13 of our ancient Hebrew revived complete chart booklet. And altogether, vanity means uh, the da. The, the Z, the Ra, the O, which is to cast or to launch the D and the uh, work or energy, the Z, and a uh, chief or main, the Ra, and to see or search, the O. So if you put all four uh, letters together, you see the imagery of a person launching work to uh, to get one thing to get what he wants okay so in vanity we see uh, a person laboring to get that one and only thing he or she wants so in in uh, in vanity we see self uh, centered uh, motives okay everything that I do is pointing to me what I want and what I need nothing else matters so that is vanity so doing everything in one's power uh, including time effort and energy and uh, 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 resources towards achieving one and and only goal with no one else in mind but self benefiting no one else but self is what the Bible calls vanity and how uh, do we know that it is the ancient Hebrew word dro that defines the word vanity for us okay as we see it in the Bible so so that was last week but today our topic for today is about love I, the meaning of love revealed in ancient hebrew the Eve. so the the word love in the ancient hebrew is closely related to the the word approve to approve of a person so how do you say to approve in spanish 
it is approbar, approbar. And how do you say to approve in modern Hebrew? It is le asher, le asher. And how do you say to approve in the ancient Hebrew, in the Abbey? It is lo, lo. It literally means a hand, okay? A hand. And how do you say love in Spanish? It is amor, amor, amor. And how do you say love in modern Hebrew? It is ahava, ahava. And how do you say love in the Abbey, in the ancient Hebrew? It is lo, lo. The verb repeated twice, lo, lo. So in love, you'll see hand hand all right so the in long long we have la and la the root consonants are la and the la so the la and the la and details about this letter is found in our ancient hebrew revived complete chart booklet and here is the symbol of the la it is uh the shepherd staff it is the symbol of uh, the 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 L shape of the arm. Okay, so you have both arms. You see one here, the other one there, or one arm here and the other one here. So both together is what the uh, the ancient Hebrew calls long long or love. So in love, uh, to love. A person is to approve of him, all right, to approve of him, to accept him or, or her, willingly giving away of self and willingly accepting the other person. So to love a person is to approve of him or of her, to accept him or to accept her. And uh, like I said, it, this is uh, the imagery of the L ship arm, the la and the la, both hands. So imagine yourself uh, developing an emotional attachment or an affection for someone you do not approve of, right? It is difficult to do so. Or uh, likewise, it is easy to... Um, to, to say I love you to a person you approve of that you receive wherefore to say I love you is to uh, is to say to a person I accept you I approve of you um, to ask a person's hand means to seek their approval which we see in marriage or in in, in contracts it is to to seek for to seek approval. So if I say I love you to you, it means I I am approving of you. I am accepting you. The English, uh, in English, it is I love you. In the ancient Hebrew, in the Arabic, it is me lo wo. Okay, I accept you. I love you. The ma is the I. The love is the lo, and you is o. Oh. So. I love you. And uh, she or he loves me is a long ma. He is a or she is a. Loves is long. And ma, me is ma. Okay. A long. He loves me or she loves me. In the ancient Hebrew, um, there is no vowel for he or she. It is all one pronoun. It is the uh, okay, so Melon Wu is I love you, and Elam is he or she loves me. Wherefore, uh, be it uh, as expressing love for Yahweh or love in in a, in a, in a matrimonial relationship or in a friendship or in society, in a church community or in our community in general, love 
involves two things. The first part is willingly giving away of self. And uh, the second part is willingly accepting the other person, uh, the other person willingly accepting others. So in our love towards Yahweh, we willingly give ourselves away. And at the same time, we accept him. Likewise, in marriage between a male, a man and a woman, either are giving themselves away and at the same time accepting uh, one another. Similarly, <clears throat> excuse me, in a relationship or in a given community or in a, a given social setting. Okay. So as an example, in John 3, 6, uh, verse 16, we read, quote, For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, unquote. So in John 3, 16, we see the the first demonstration of love, which is what Yahweh loved the world, what and he gave, okay, the first love, which is him coming to us, okay. He and then he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth, this is us here. Now, us believing in him in Yahweh is the second love, okay, which is us. Uh, when we, we go uh, to him, okay, we go to Yahweh. This is us uh, accepting him, okay. We meet uh, in the way, okay. He comes and we go, and uh, in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, love is one way there's give and there's take, there's take and there's give. Uh, similarly, we read in Romans chapter 15, verse 7 from the KJV, it reads, quote, Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of Yahweh, unquote. So, love is about receiving one another. And that's what it is all about. That's what the Bible means when it says to love one another. It means to, uh, to accept one another despite our differences, despite uh, 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 each and every one of us having uh, his or her personal opinions, despite our religion, uh, despite our skin colors, despite culture, despite our various ways of life or despite social status etc it's all about accepting one another and such is true love it has nothing to do with feelings it has nothing to do with emotions okay we have many other topics topic discussions coming soon so please stay tuned and be looking forward to our next video presentation thanks for watching my name again is joshua from chosen vessels the preachers channel until next time